On behalf of the Welch and Cenarian families, I'd like to welcome you all here to the wedding of Jacqueline and Michael. It's truly my honor to be here with all of you today in what is an absolutely beautiful location and even more wonderful occasion. Mike, you and I have come a long way since our days of growing up at your house on Cunningham Street since that now infamous pool party at my parents' house in middle school, where you met that pretty girl from Cottage Street. Looking back on it now, who would have known that the two of you would meet on that day at the pool party? And who would have known that you two would begin to fall in love on that day? Because now that pretty girl from Cottage Street is all grown up, and today she looks absolutely breathtaking. Jackie, you've become a loving family member, a loyal friend, and a very successful businesswoman. So I don't think I need to remind you that if any point today you look around and you don't feel you have enough support, feel free to withdraw from this as well. As most of you know, Jackie is the oldest of us seven kids, and she's pretty much always been like the second mom that we never really wanted. She's been bossing us around for our entire lives, so we're all really excited that she'll finally have somebody else to nag for the rest of her life. Seriously, we thought she was gonna be a crazy cat lady forever, so being here today is really just awesome. You have always been there to help us make all of our hard decisions, to encourage us to chase our dreams, and to tell us to suck it up when life doesn't go the way that we planned. And we really just couldn't ask you to be a better big sister or a role model. We love you. Mike, it takes a very special person to be able to put up with all of us Welches, but you do it with such ease that it feels like you're always meant to be a part of our crazy family. So those of you who don't know, Mike was born prematurely. He was little, he was about two pounds. Born at Children's Hospital. He had to spend many weeks in the hospital. And as you can see today, he is a hoss. He grew into being a big person. Uh, unbeknownst to us, we didn't know that someone so small could have the fight and tenacity of a lion. The, uh, the grown up version is you know, all about the transition Mike, the transformation Mike has made into an adult. He is one of the most stand-up guys I've ever met. Over the last few years, Mike has gone back to school, got his electrical license, started his own company, built a house for him and Jackie, planned a wedding, took my mom on many doctor's appointments, my dad, my grandfather. Mike, you're the least, least selfish person I know. He's a loving and caring uncle. He's a great friend to lots of people that we can all test to from the size of this wedding. Mike is the quintessential son who is always there for his parents and grandparents. No matter how many curveballs, life gets thrown his way. I'm proud to be your brother, honored to be your coach best man, and lastly, it's been a privilege to see you transform into the man you've become today. I think I can speak for everybody here when I say we are so delighted that your paths have brought you here together, and we wish you a lifetime of happiness and good health together. You, Jacqueline, come here to enter into marriage freely, wholeheartedly, and without hesitation? I do. Do you, Jacqueline, take Michael to be your husband through good times and in bad, in sickness and in health? I do. And do you promise to love and honor him, even while working 90 to 100 hours a week? <laughs> I do. <laughs> Mike, do you come here to enter into marriage freely, wholeheartedly, and without hesitation? I do. Do you take Jacqueline to be your wife through good times and in bad, sickness and in health. I do. And do you promise to love her and honor her even while watching golf on Sundays? I do. And on behalf of the power invested in me by the good people of Wilmington, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your breath. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to introduce you for the very second time, Mr. and Mrs. Michael Scenario.